This was everyone's worst nightmare. Chaos in the heart of Cape Town. Fires burnt outside the city hall. Crowds of youths went on the rampage, looting shops, smashing windows, torching property. Vehicles were set alight. Security forces struggling to maintain control fired volleys of warning shots. Several people were injured, including a policeman. Even a peace monitor was hurt, led away after being stabbed. The men of peace tried their best to hold the line. A distressed Archbishop Tutu blamed militant elements for trying to ruin Hani's Memorial Day. That there are elements who are undisciplined and use, have used this occasion or have used the occasion. The biggest labor stay away in the country's history had started calmly in most towns, but later deteriorated into several angry confrontations with the police. Before a huge crowd in Soweto, Nelson Mandela had repeated his call for restraint. As members of a government in waiting, you have the responsibility to behave orderly and with dignity. But the greatest test of the ANC's credibility was being undermined as youths mobbed a Soweto police station. Suddenly, the police opened fire. Live rounds scattered the demonstrators. The police, who'd been told to act with restraint, claimed they were just enforcing order. The result, three dead, five critically wounded and scores more injured, among them a BBC camera crew. The day of mourning for Chris Harney turned into mayhem.